I think there's a echo from iPhone. Hello. No. Well, are you muted? So I made why the post. So I'm gonna leave and hopefully it'll stay. I don't have this bias and just the Okay, so it's all right. Check, check. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's building the lane. We have ghosts in the neighborhood. So the bulk of your people are here. You would lose Carol. Wait, there's Elaine and I are both on. That's why it's echoing. Either one, one I'm going to try muting this one. Uh, barely. It's very faint. Okay. And that's well, coming this, from the lane. This is the only way we can get it without an echo. So we're all going to talk really loud. Is that cool? Uh, let's try it and see how it goes. And I'll, <laughs> I'll stop you if I'm having any issues. Okay, we can repeat as much as you want. Okay, thanks. Okay. Wyatt, we're gonna do the minutes. Okay. Uh, well, you tell me, I'll take another. That's next Here it is. Okay. Did you have corrections? Did you want to make a motion? Are we have. I think you're cutting out quite a bit. I'm having a hard time understanding. That was pretty muffled. Whoever spoke. Yeah. I think he's allowed into the meeting. Wyatt, Briggs, Lico is going to come on. She's an iPhone. We're going to try it with the phone. We're just going to play one more time. One more time. Okay. Can you like. Hello? Yes, I can, that was clear. Yay! Hopefully. <laughs> That's the best we've got today, I think. Okay. So you could just sleep. Okay, let's go ahead.
I'd, I'd like to move that we approve the February and the March minutes. Would somebody care to second? A second. Sorry, feel right. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 I abstain. I was not sure. Yeah, standing at the end. And Carol. Carol's <laughs> here. And just put Carol as abstaining. So let's start with our review of the proposal of the United Sport Board. Lou, do you want to share your screen? Hello? I can hear you, Luke. Oh, hi. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hi, good evening. My name is Luke Griego, and um, I'm the architect of this project, and I'm the person who will be like, uh, presenting the program for you guys. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't understand it. I can't. Lou, maybe I can yeah. try to to talk because we're having a hard time hearing you. If you just want to hang out for the questions we might have. It's on our end. So this is regarding 5259 HPZ22079. And responding to our last comments in our last meeting, some of the concerns were the windows being recessed, um, some picture windows in the front, the door, some swells around the ruins that we had. And the other concern was the material for the scuppers. So I'm here to address all those questions and concerns that we had in the last meeting. So the, the very last page, we could show the materials and get that out of the way since there's only a couple of them. So the scuffer's material is metal, square. That was the question they had. I thought your uh, submittal showed up. Fire, fiber span concrete and lines. Yeah, concrete. This is what it says here. Yeah, that's what it said. Okay, I thought yeah. you said metal. Uh, I think we maybe from the last one we were concerned it was a metal or concrete. So you. we were just kind of specify we're going to go with the, the concrete. Clay, yeah, it's like a clay. So, and then the other can, uh, was the front door to the courtyard, which on page the oh, best one for you to see. Page is five, maybe page five, page two, floor plan. Yeah, zero. Yeah, so this is the front. So this is the front to the courtyard. You can see it's very small. This right here. This was a concern. Um, what, what material what we're building out of? So this is the picture. I actually built the store for a house I built in Barrio Viejo, and we want to do the same. It's metal framed with wood, and it has a kind of like speakeasy window. So this is what we're proposing, material-wise. This pretty much same door, and that's for the courtyard that goes into. This is this you're showing this door. Right? Correct. 
The front doors in here, you don't see the front door, but we have the materials for the front door. But that really wasn't a question in the last meeting. It was this door. All right, that was that question. And the, um, the windows being recessed, which he changed multiple times on the plans, but it was this format was hard for him to see for some reason. But they are recessed. The house is built out of block. The windows are recessed. It's difficult to see, but they're recessed. And there's even notes saying that the windows are recessed. And that was pretty much all the concerns regarding material. The, there was concerns regarding the swells that we had in the original plans around the ruins, but we're not putting the swells. I don't never agreed with them to begin with. I don't know why we even had them there. The ruins are what they are. We're our plan is to protect them during construction to not create any damage during construction with chaining fence around them. But other than that, we're not touching them, only cleaning up debris and stuff around them and let them live as they, they've been living and showcase them from the front of the house or like you know our courtyard when you look out you'll be able to see the ruins but as far as ruins we're not we don't have any plans of stuff going in which you won't leave them at the way they are we're not doing anything to them period <clears throat> we've created can't leave those trees in there. there's there's two trees in the back we're not touching any of the trees either they might be rooted in there and if He's anything about the, the trees within the ruins yeah no no any dead any trees on the ground? Yeah, but any trees, we're not removing any trees that are alive. Okay. There's there not on that lot, period, to begin with. The construction of the house, just one tree, it's about three feet tall. And it's this, we drew that picture of it right there. That's yeah, the only tree yeah. that has to be removed. And um, there was a question regarding the material for the driveway. We're using quarter minus, which I love. <clears throat> it's very nice. It goes with. Tucson fantastic, it holds down the dust, it compacts, it's right here. The picture of it right there on the bottom right. And that's what the driveway is made out of. Well, yeah, it's, they, they, call, they call it like a four man concrete, but it's, it's a real fine ground up rock. that almost has like a lime in it, so it, it compacts really nice and it gets harder and harder with any water or rain on it. And it doesn't create a lot of dust. It doesn't wear out. I've had it in my driveway for five years, and it's, it's nice stuff. It's decomposed granite, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's like smashed down, so it almost sticks together. Which that is it? DG? No, it, not really. It's more smashed. Crushed rock. It's like a crushed rock. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a crushed. Like what you have here. Yeah. yeah, it's a DG. It's like a real fine dirt. It's like yeah, it's almost like this stuff out here, but more fine. So that's the material that we're proposing for the driveway. And these are the only questions that came up in our last meeting. Um, trying to think if there was any other concerns. That was the only ones that we, we went to the meeting. We went through the recordings multiple times. We talked to Wyatt many times and Jody. And we went over all the concerns. And these were the concerns that we had. Um, there was one thing that was brought up in the last meeting was the size of the window. 305 was, was a concern that on, the, on the west side. But the 3050 double hung window is the smallest. They were saying they were too big. That's the smallest window you can you can actually use for egress for the fire department. And it's not a big window at all. It's a 305 one is a very standard size window. I think the concern about the window is put the one on the front, not the one on the front. <laughs> but, the, but it looks like the size of the windows on the front have changed. Yeah. It should all be 305 ones, but we'll see. The front this is the 305 ones. This is the what is that the west that? elevation? That's the west. And then the north. I can see this paper. That's the east. You know, we're still can south. you go to the front elevation? There's the south. Yeah. Okay, so this is the south elevation. So this is what we're gonna this is from the street. The street. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're looking at from the street. And there was question about the two windows on the side of the Doors. So wait, yeah. or let's go back to these bigger windows. Okay. <clears throat> because the concern was that those are all standard windows. And the recommendation was that if you look at the storage, yeah. there are usually variations in windows mm -hmm. and they're usually taller than wide. Mm -hmm. Right. These, so these are definitely taller than wide. No, no, What's no, the size? No. I can't see them. But I believe it's these are different than what you proposed last time. Is that correct? 
I think it's this. We didn't, uh, we didn't change it even when this 36 by 60. Yeah. It's the height of this house of 305 over the for the for the height of that wall, which is pretty it's strange. A small window, this big tall building, 14 feet high. Have you um, seen the windows on the historic structures? Yeah. The commissary and the, yeah. the straight store and the military mm -hmm. structures. Mm -hmm. So that was the that was the concern was the uniformity of the windows. Yeah, the that's top. that's a 305. Oh, that's we cannot go any smaller. It's against the law. They they will not pass my plans. Well, what we heard was that you couldn't go smaller in a bedroom. Those are bedrooms right there. Um, according to this plan, it's a study. The one on the left. Isn't this weren't they changed to dining room and study by the plan? No. Well, this says. Study and this says dining. The study, yes. um, <laughs> the, you, they still always require me to do a 305 in a room. It's all about the access for a fire. That would just be one window per room, right? Uh, you have to have one, yeah, one, and, and and one window to get out of. It's not required if it's not going to be used for sleeping. If it's not a closet in there, considered a bedroom. Uh, I don't know. I think the only requirement for a bedroom is it uh -huh. has to be 70 square feet and it has seven minimum dimension of seven feet. For but what? to be called a bedroom, it doesn't have to have a place. Mm -hmm. No, I'll take the space. But I'm saying if it were a dining room, uh -huh. they don't require a second means of egress. The idea yeah. is that you're asleep uh -huh. and fires in the hallway and you have to go out through it. Correct. Hey, Lou, can you go back to the, the south elevation for me? So these windows in the front right here, we could, if you guys are concerned about them being too uniform, we could change them up. So that one in the front that he's pointing at right now, this is a dining, we could, we could make them smaller if that's what you're, if that's what you're saying. And also that study, that one in the back, to maybe give us some dimension, these four in the front, we can make smaller compared to the ones in the back. Well, I think that the question is making it smaller. I think the question is changing the dimensions yeah. so that they are more near, narrower than wide. Which they are, they are, but I, maybe you more. Of, you're objecting to the proportion. Yes, the yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know if that's okay. I mean, yeah, is this, I mean, there's there's a fine line between requirements and what's that? No. This is her house. Well, but she's not on this board. Okay. Unless she on the board? Have, unless we've invited her to attend and contribute, mm -hmm. like we have with Alan, then she really shouldn't contribute. So if it's the if it's the dimension you're concerned about, and here's my concern. My plans were approved eight months ago. Your, your still, plans weren't approved. Historic is part of the review yeah, process, so you don't have a you don't have a permit. You don't have any I, of that for this I'm, project. Yeah, you know, I understand. I completely understand. But the the review of the plans are finished. What's stopping it is the is this this right here. And and if they make a recommendation and the recommendation yeah. goes to the director mm -hmm. and the director, as they advise him, takes those it, those um, recommendations, then you're gonna have to change your plans. So That's, this is yeah. part of the project. Okay, so so we're just gonna say page and so I can try to understand what it is maybe that would be more satisfying to this area. These four windows in the front, the dimension would be, Better if they were all different or just these four different dimensions? I think to a certain extent, um, either either or both is would be my opinion. In other words, like the one, well, well, first of all, I'd like to talk to you about the proportion. Let's, talk, let's talk about that first. So, so, so right now they're, you know, they're basically, um, 36 inches wide mm -hmm. and they're 60 inches tall. I think it said 62, but three feet by five. Mm -hmm. So three foot by five. If you were to make them more uh, slender, and I'm not suggesting that this is my recommendation, you would probably go down 
to maybe a 32 inch wide window. Yeah, like a two and a half by five feet. Yeah, you know, 32 is mm -hmm. a masonry dimension. Yeah, yeah. Two foot eight. So yeah. that would be like the difference. Makes you feel taller than here. here. Yeah, that's nice. And if you have 32 inches clear, mm -hmm. I would think that would satisfy the egress. Which, you know, according to everybody, that it's do 30 it's double hung, right? the dining, they're all double hung, correct? Yeah, there, well, there's a requirement for the width has, has to have a clear width of 22 inches, I think, for the bedrooms. It's it's three feet by five feet double hung. It's the smallest you can go for egress. Really? Yeah. I've, done. I've built a lot of houses right, lately. And that's that's the smallest you can go for a double hung window and egress. In the bedroom. In the bedroom, yeah. So, so these, and, we can get away with going smaller than these. these the other issue was uniformity. Yeah. The uniformity of all those windows, all, everywhere being yeah. the same size. I like the idea of changing that up too. I like that. So this, since we can get away with that being, since it's the dining and a study, it would be nice because we'll have the bigger ones in the, in the back, which is required. And then the ones in the front, we can go skinnier. I think it, uh, you're absolutely right. It would look nice. Mm -hmm. So we can do like a, a 32, because it does fit the dimensions of the block without having to cut blocks too much. And it'll make them more slender and make them look taller. I, I like that idea. Is that something we can all agree on? Um, so do you have anything else to cover? Because we're then I want to just step through yeah. the process. Do I have anything else to cover? Yeah, from last time. You said no, I, I think this I think I brought up the, the, the concerns of our last meeting mm -hmm. in the window size. And um, that was the last thing I think of the window size. I have some concerns in the last meeting about no sidewalk or circulation shown on the plan, no landscape plan, uh, and no uh, park guest parking indicated. So I'd like to know what your thoughts are on those things. I mean, you got to get to the front door, and there's no way to get there. For like a sidewalk, a walkway, or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That doesn't. It's not required to be paved necessarily, is it? Well, I, I don't see any indication that it's been considered at all. And it seems to be sort of important. Well, it's a paved sidewalk for the front No, circulation. Well, and one of the concerns, Mike, with that, and we don't have that, that sheet that we saw that had the streetscape and the driveway coming off on the right and the, the old drive you on the left. The if, if that you change that to the site plan and Move. the site plan. Move. 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 And that is where yes. we talked about at one point that would your company be coming up the drive and then going in front of the in front of the house and coming out on the other side, if that was the circulation pattern or not. And we did, and that was part of that same conversation, Mike. Does that prove that? Just to help that, <laughs> but it was it was part of that. So that the the way that the the concern was coming off the street on the right to the drive, mm -hmm. and then the natural place for your company to park would be off to the left in front of the front door, which would then end up with the second. Exit on the left where this the old a, drive is. Yeah, so any company that comes here, this is this is right here. Who cars that come in here? This is all parking in here too, and this is the door to the house right. So you have our garage, and this is all open. This is this is twenty five feet right there alone, and this is all extra parking for cars, company or whatnot. Here's the door to the the kitchen. So our old store it goes into the kitchen. It's not your front door. This is the door we'll always be using. This door right here, this is only to come out to the corridor and stuff. This goes into like right directly into our living room, our kid dining and everything. So, so yeah. this door is like it's basically once you're in the house and you want to come out to the door, that's that, that, this oh. is more that's my front door. What does that front door look like? Well, that was the that was the concern that I had it was this circulation pattern. I don't think they intend no, to we don't need to do that. No, so there's there's actually a ton of room right here. Okay. There's a lot of room. And so this goes away and 
And does that have- Yeah, this is good? not a safe entry point. And there's a huge tree right there. And this is already an actually opening right there that has an original slot, like structure right there. I've seen, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was an old sign, but it's a dobe little, little dobe walk. Yeah, walk. that's right next to that. <clears throat> there's already a driveway there. There's no trees or no way or anything. So basically you're saying this is not to be considered access from the street. No, I, didn't, I don't feel very safe. And there's a huge, there's two huge trees right here. It's all bundled up next Would to each you other. Point that out on that so everybody can see it up there. You see the driver to the left and south. Well, I think this is the way he's he's, he's proposing this is the entry. Right. Um, and not to have a drive through this. That's what Mary Lou was asking. I don't know who's paying you standing. Um, he says he's not going to do this. He's not going to have access onto the property at this old drive. Oh, that's just the driveway. Is that, am I saying that correctly? Yeah, I'm not planning on putting a driveway by any means. I would prefer vehicles to come in only through there because it's much safer in my eyes. So, are you planning to block that somehow or plant something there to prevent it becoming a driveway? So There's huge there. trees right there. You, you know, you the driver, that guy that's working on it. Right on the I thought I thought he's been driving through the one. Yeah, he's been just yeah, driving right through my there. land. Yeah. Someone's just been driving through my land every day. Yeah. yeah, so there would be some kind of uh this one. Well, it's I mean it's my house. People shouldn't be just driving through my car. I mean, do you <laughs> put a sign up? I'm not sure. Well, you can I mean you can turn it. I mean, you can go you drive through anybody's yard if you wanted to. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, I mean, it, I'm not going to definitely make that it look like a driveway, you know what I mean? You know, with some bushes or some whatnot, if we had to, but I didn't think. So my house, which is just east of there, uh -huh. used to have a driveway on the west side. Yeah. There was a driveway on the east side. Okay. And what they did is they built a berm and they planted it. They put trees in, they put creosotes, they put mesquites. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely make it not look, we will make it inviting as a driveway for yeah. sure. Because I don't want people going. There's no reason I'm going to need to drive in over there. Maybe this question should go to the city. Does a site plan indicate have to indicate guest parking and circulation mm -hmm. uh, to a front door? To a no. front door? No. I mean, they so want to make sure to drive in here on a rainy day, park in the mud, and traipse through the kitchen. Is that the plan, or is there going to be a a stoop there? Or you know, why would there be? I can't imagine a house as expensive as this not having a walkway to the front door or the side door actually so i just uh, you know you you say you're going to park there but there's no in parking indicated i'm just wondering mm -hmm. what's going on well we never never had to indicate necessarily where the parking would be unless you're in a certain amount of bedrooms in a certain neighborhood and certain zoning but i mean in this quarter mine is it's not muddy at all See, here's, here's about my it. problem is that you're not you may not be required to show us right now but sometime you're going to put Parking is are you going to put a side door? Somebody's going to do that. Exactly. And if it goes in later on, uh, you know, who knows what it's going to be or whether it's appropriate for the historic district. So, I mean, it seems to me a site plan has to show circulation. Is that not true? I guess I'm asking the city, I'm not asking you. Yeah, I'm asking the city yeah, that's well, required Is it? No, I mean, they have to show parking. So, like, they have to show, like Caitlin was saying, you know, if they have a certain zoning and number of bedrooms, and they have to show that they can park that on their property. And he's got that with his garage and his driveway. Exactly. So, it's kind of basically not hanging out. But, Wyatt, can you, did you hear that question? Uh, I yeah, know. I mean, for this specific project, he's required to provide two parking spaces um, for an SFR plus visitor parking at 0 0.25 spaces. Looking at the site plan and understanding that it's a two car garage, it's inherent that it meets that parking requirement per the code. And he doesn't have to show circulation to like, like Mike is asking to a front door, like a sidewalk or something, right? 
No, he does, he does not. And, and I mean, typically you're supposed to show the location of the driveway. It's included within the lot coverage calculation. Can you let Wyatt finish? Zone, there's no lot coverage requirement even. Sorry, um, Thanks. so to repeat that, if you don't mind, you said there's a requirement to provide 2.5 spaces, is that right? There's two, there's two spaces required for the single family residence in addition to 0 0.25 parking spaces for visitor parking with the consideration that a two car garage is proposed with a long narrow driveway, the site plan inherently meets that requirement per the zoning code. Okay. Thank you, Wyatt. 2.0.5, right? A quarter, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, smart <laughs> Okay, so Mike, does that satisfy you or? It doesn't satisfy me, but I want you to. I understand the answer, but it doesn't make sense. You, if you want, if you're concerned about a path or something leading to the front door, you could include something in a motion if you recommend to like a condition to say, you know, if a path is proposed in the future, I don't know appropriate materials should be used or something along those lines to address well, that. And we do look at landscape, parkscape, you know, the whole picture in, in, in my opinion. And so we can do that as a rec to recommend the walkway, to describe the walkway. But that's what you're asking for. So describe the walkway through the front door. It would be a catch for in the motion, like a motion, so in the motion. Okay, so what I want to do is go back to this checklist that I sent everybody to make. This is your checklist, or it used to be your checklist. <laughs> Give me a few signs, 2018, that just looks at all these um, aspects that, because I, I really want to be a little more formal than we have been in the past about these issues. <laughs> so going back to the height, if you wouldn't mind, um, Lou, to go back to where you show the elevations of the heights, the building heights. Because I think it was a little confusing and because these plans are hard to read. So can you just talk through what these heights are? What they relate to? Hello? Either you or them. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna describe the highs. So this first line that you see here is the height of this um, entry wall for the courtyard, which is like 10 feet, six inches. The second high that is like um, the dining and also like uh, this is studio, it's uh, 12 feet. Uh, 13 feet, six inches is the basically the um, bedrooms and 15, six inches is basically like the living room. So you see like the dots lines and the lines are like pointed. So what's the distance between the lowest height and the tallest height, front to back? Not, I'm sorry, not from the height, but how far back is that tall wall from the front of the house? Uh, it is about, uh, hold on. So the setback line, it's 21. So, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not being clear. I, I'm not asking about the setback. I'm asking about the distance between the front of the house and the tallest wall in the back. It's about like 70 feet or so. 70 feet? No. He's talking from the street. No, I'm not talking about from the street. I'm talking about the difference in height of the front elevation. Go back. Oh, yeah. Back. Lou, pull it up. Shoot it up for me, Lou. The elevation? Um, yeah. the, no, no, the um, site upper plan. view, site plan. 
for the floor plan. Yeah, the floor plan. So Mary Lou, I think you're asking. So this is the, one of the this is the that's highest the, point right here. That's the tallest point. Right yeah. There. So from this to this is oh, I see. eight, but I cannot see it. So this is where those those wood French doors are. This is the courtyard. This is the high. This is the high water. So the great rain is the 15 foot high. Correct. Okay. So this is the high one, and this is a little slightly lower. These two. And it's about 15 foot. Look, what is the difference between from the front of the dining room to the French doors that go into the great room? It and is. It is. Like, 15, 15, 6. 15, uh, 12 feet, 6 inches. So then my, the reason I'm asking uh -huh. is because the height of, of most of the houses is pretty low. And there's a reference in here to a house on Beverly that says it's 17 feet high, and it's not. It can't be. Yeah, and that was your address. 13 foot six is the height. But okay. there, my understanding. Yeah, I'm from, over these heights, and this is what I'm submitting. You can get pushed forward. Or you can deny it. I mean, this is, should have been brought up last meeting or the meeting before or the meeting before. This is all within the rules of what we can do. So, this is what I'm submitting. But I like the idea of changing the windows, but I'm not going to backtrack at this point. This cost me $220 a day, and this has been drugged out for quite a while. Well, let us finish then. Yeah, no. So, if any more stuff, but I'm not changing anybody, we'll maybe change the windows because I didn't like the idea, but everything is within what I've read that we can do. Elaine, my recollection was that on the there used to be two districts. There are the city side yeah, and, and the county side. And it, uh, the so the guidelines originally said that on the city side, thirteen six was the maximum height. That was the height to the peak of the twenty nine twenty eight building. And also uh, Charles's addition mm -hmm. on the north side of the street. My understanding was that the height limitation was 16 feet because that was what the um, post traders um, built. So, so, yeah, it's almost 17 feet. Lou, what's the restriction height we were allowed to go? 16. Well, I'm, I'm don't think quote me on that. There no, was a I difference. It is. It's in its language. So, and and the design, the 16 foot height at the post trader store is set back from the frontage. It's set back from the front of the side. Yeah. That's why I was asking how far back are you mm -hmm. set? To just right. throw that offset. Yeah. So 12 feet six inches from that front gate. It's more like 15 feet from the front of the wall from the, the study and the dining room. So the proportion could be. In that realm. I mean, it's not like you could you would want a 16 foot straight up fall, mm -hmm. even though it says the high restriction is yeah. 16 feet. But then you wouldn't go right from the there. street to 16 feet, right? Yeah. That's yeah, that's why we that's why we have all these offsets mm -hmm. in front. Right. That's the that dimension. Mm -hmm. and they're all right there. It hasn't changed for the last eight months. Here. Um, do you have the north? Uh, Right the uh, west elevation. Uh, uh, Lou, the west. Okay, so here's the front of the courtyard. Here's the front of the study and the dining. Here is the stand of the hall roof. So there's there's two steps back, and if you. <coughs> Go back down to the north. Put this one down. Lou, let's see the north. You said you want the north. Yes, this is. Yeah, so that, that high wall goes back to the back of the living room. Mm -hmm. It goes way within, and I removed those picture windows that were up on that tall wall. I just removed. Yeah, them. That looks good. Thank you. Is that natural? 
see in moonshine. Mm -hmm. Does that just show the underlying material like Correct. that region? Correct, yeah. You're not plastic. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I couldn't read that. You already put things I had a fear. I had a fear. <laughs> it's been done. It's, I, I can't. I can't stand looking at that stuff. This is real chunk fall off the wall. And I don't mean to be rude. I just I'm very anxious to move forward for many reasons. And I I, re, I respect and appreciate what you guys do because I really appreciate homes that fit the area. It just helps the value of them for me. Exactly. Um, but um. I just whatever we can do to move forward is what I'm going to do and I want to try to do and because time is money for me and it's been a lot of lot, a long time already and we've kind of went over the same couple of things and to me I feel like you guys are very smart people we should be able to just bust this thing out and move forward somehow. that's why we asked to meet in person mm -hmm. I had, I'm glad we were able to are there any con other concerns I mean if you look at this checklist then you, you look at the the setbacks, the site utilization, the size, mass, addition, proportion, color, according to what was presented, are there any concerns that we want to bring up or rec make any recommendations about? Oh, Elaine, is this a good time for me to, um, to speak? Yes, who's speaking? This Who is, is George. George, hi, sure, George. Uh, so so uh, if we go back to slide nine, which just showed the driveway and all. Yeah, that, yeah and, and uh, yeah, that's good. Um, so uh, it looked like the setback on the uh, leach field was about five feet from the property line. And I didn't know if, if, if that fit code. Our leach field, everything has been approved for our septic tank. The septic tank company already did the drawings and everything is submitted with the city and it's all been approved. Okay. Uh, and, and the and the ground porosity is, is adequate? Everything's been done. A leach, a leach uh, um, has been done. A perk test has been done. It's all been passed. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. And, and just out of curiosity, what, why go with the septic instead of the sewer connection? There's no practical sewer connection at this property. Through yeah, so be, be, <laughs> What's that? Through George's yard. <laughs> yeah. it. Now I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, unfortunately, unfortunately, there is no, there was no practical sewer line. There's no sewer line. The, the closest one was like out over on Beverly. Oh, really? Like okay. behind, or behind the church. Yeah. And yeah. It's yeah. more of like a community there. So there was just okay. no access. <laughs> okay, well, well, that answers my curiosity question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a question about setbacks, and I brought this up with the city, and that because the, the setback to the west um, shows a property line on all your plans as the wall, as the UW wall. Mm -hmm. But the person at, at the palm mm -hmm. is telling me that. That's not the property line. Yeah. It was set inside that wall is inside his property. Correct. Correct. And and that it's probably, and then even by your survey flags. Yeah. Right. Our, our setbacks are off of my, my survey, not the old surveys or the wall. Even though that wall has been like in a sense a part of the property, but I I, I spent four thousand dollars for a proper survey, mm -hmm. and our setbacks are off of our survey. So your setbacks are. Correct. According to those flags that are out there. I'm not sure what flag you're talking about. Did your survey or put your survey. Whatever, flags, whatever flags that, wherever my property lands are is where our setbacks are, are based off of. Um, but the plans show the setbacks to be 20 feet from the wall. Um, Lou, did you hear her? Yeah. So maybe the wall was just what did we specify a wall, Lou, or was it just a line where a wall might be going? Um, and the this is the way how it, it is on GIS maps from the city of Tucson. 
So the property line um, apparently is um, on the side of the existing light wall as well as this one. The city map. The GIS. GIS. I mean, according to that, the 920 will still have properties. Oh, that, that one? The white one there? Oh. What I'm saying is you go by the city map. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, no, that wall was a big question. My survey guy kept telling me, well, you should take this extra step and make it your property. That, that right now is the, the farthest concern of mine right now because you want to get the space over there. Um, and I always had a feeling that the wall was necessarily maybe not a part of this because there were so many structures there at one time. There was so much going on there um, that I wasn't basing it off this wall. Whatever you're asking as far as what Lou has up here, everything fits within our setbacks. That wall. Can you expand that a bit, Lou, to show the setbacks? Lou, what is our setback off from the, from the sides? Required? It's 20. It's 2020 yeah, for each side and from the back. 2020 10, huh? It's 20 feet from the from the west. Mm -hmm. And and 20 from the east. 20 from the back, <laughs> and I believe it's twenty five from the front. Yeah, from the front of the street. Yeah. So I see. Your, I see what you're saying, Mary Jane. Did I just call Mary Jane? Sorry, I Mary Jane. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's okay. So yeah, I, um, I'm not sure how to even answer that question because I mean, maybe maybe that drawing of the wall actually. Maybe we put some verbiage in there. I'm not sure where it says that, but that wall that's actually just up with our property line because our setbacks are our measurements. We have plenty of setback. We have 148 feet or so, 178 feet. Um, Lou, did you specify? Oh, I see the drawing of it. Looks like a little wall right there. This is how the how the walls like shows on the GIS maps. It's like some of the existing like adobe walls, they walk into the they go inside of the of our lab, as you can see like here and in the yeah. north area. So I just draw it because I thought that it were like important like features of the side, existing site. Yeah, there's a difference. It's a difference of like eight feet, I think on that, from the actual survey to where that wall is on just the west side. Right. So, west side. Right. Correct. So. Lou on the north side there, where the leach field is, I wanted to come back to that. That's not 10 feet from the wall. No, 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 it's 20. We have it's 20 feet. 20 feet. From from the wall to the north side of the leach field? No, no, um, just a full setback. I think they only had to be 10 feet. Whatever it is they did, it's the drawing the drawing for for the new septic uh the CD chose like requires like a very di diagrammatic uh, drawing of it, of the location of it. And then the surveyor is the one who submitted everything is where exactly going to be. So um, that's how, like, um, as far as I know, that's how it works. Well, the, the leach field they I don't think require you to measure them exactly where it's going to be. There's just like a diagrammatic, like, diagrammatic um, drawing of where it's going to be located at. I see. Well, well so check that's what it's, I believe the leach field is 10 feet across. And so you can see it's less than that to the wall. I think you said it was five feet. Yeah, usually you get five feet. Like, whatever yeah, those five, measurements it's five are. Feet, that's what I measured five. Yeah. And, and I didn't know if that was within code. Yeah, it's been approved. Okay. It's been approved. How are you going to clean out that stuff? How are you going to truck in there and clean out your stuff? We have 40 feet over there and 30 feet over there for each truck to get back so, there. Yeah. And they have 100 foot lines. We're not. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. So I'm, I'm still going back to the setback horrible. question because it was brought up to me by the neighbor uh -huh. and it was brought up to me by your surveyor. Uh -huh. And that wall on the west side is going to fall down one day. Uh -huh. right? So if you're yeah. using the wall as a setback, then I think that there's a process by which you have to do that. If you're, if you're reducing the setback, 
then if there's a process by which I could be one, right? Yeah, John, but, and I don't know what it is. If I say I'm going to build within my setback, if he builds within his setback, what's allowed, then he's fine. If he needs to reduce the setback, he can ask for a waiver from you and from PRS. And if you're agreeable to that, then he can have a reduced setback. Does the neighbor, oh, does okay. no, yeah, the, the neighbor, neighbor doesn't have to be no. involved. So if he's supposed to have five feet and he can do three feet, then you just, in your motion, make that the case say have that as a condition that yes you're agreeable to the reduced setback and the neighborhood neighbors not involved even though it's on the edge of the start zone it's so but we don't need area. it we don't need we don't need it we don't need to be we don't need to short my setback we have we have the space for my proper setbacks just the way it is it's just that wall in there is actually you can just imagine um that wall being in our our actual line, our, our permitted line, because that square footage has not changed. Our dimensions have not changed. It's just he has that line as a wall. Exactly. So the line is not the wall that's no, currently it, there. The way it's actually about seven and a half to eight feet from front to back all the way. To, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. is from the wall on your, your property or the other guys? Property? Well, that's that's a great question. But bottom line is, I did the survey for my property. And that's the only place I'm building on. But the my for so this so you're just saying for my, convenience sake you put the wall on the property line on the strong my, my property line in reality for dimensions is is this is that but that's the wall. But so ask your answer your ask your question. The wall, my property line actually is eight feet in. And what's your required side yard setbacks? 25. 20. Oh, it's 20 on that side? It's 20. So if the wall was drawn in the proper place, it'd be eight feet west of your property. Is that what you're saying? The, the walls, the walls, eight roughly eight feet west of my property, mm -hmm. according to the survey I had done. So he calculated those eight feet into his twenty foot setback. No, yeah, that's not yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, it is. Well, no, no well, that's not what he just said. B. No. Yes. The, what's the total square footage you have of my lot? Is twelve? It's it is um, dimension is a dimension. Twenty feet is twenty feet. <laughs> no, 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 we got our twenty feet in there. We have we already marked it on the ground. It's there, survey guy. So you're saying that you your surveyor marked your property line, and it's east of the existing yeah. adobe wall. Right, we have 25,660 square feet. So, where but, but this is just talking about dimension. Uh -huh. And then, did you lay the west wall of the uh, structure out 20 feet off the property line or 20 feet off of the wall? So, isn't that your question? That's the question. Yeah. So, if you have if you have a dimension, that's a dimension, no matter what. And this house is sitting within its proper setbacks. But the property line's here, but we all think it's a wall. These dimensions have not changed. Lou may have yeah. done it off the wall. You to do it off the wall, which is actually the property line. We could no, so we're saying the right. wall is it's not, not on the property line. No. And as far as just my opinion, if we went through the neighborhood and moved everybody's walls back to where the the recorded property lines are, which we know are in there. We would that would be a nightmare. No, no, that, that wall was put there as a trail. It was actually a trail mm -hmm. dedicated to the horses. Horse and the neighbor association to allow horses to go through there. It's a the wash. Farm to the wash. Well Hill Farm blocked the trail. The trail's mm -hmm. moved. Yeah. It doesn't matter anything. But the wall still allows for the wall was purposely put onto the palm property by mm -hmm. 10 to 15 feet, whatever it was, right? So this, this so, issue, I'm sorry. So what, what I'm saying is yeah. just be upfront about it. I mean, if you want us to add, if you want to reduce the setback. No, but I don't, I don't need setback. to reduce the setback. I, I, don't think need it, I think from what you're saying, you do. Reduce it so I have more, more setback? No, yeah, no. Yeah. You, your graphic indication is that it's 20 feet from the west wall of the house to the existing wall, mm -hmm. which is shown 
on the property, mm -hmm. but your surveyor said that your actual property line on the west was coming. Yeah. Are you hearing this, Lou? Yes. Okay. So, so the real setback yeah. of the property line is has shrunk. Coffee. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Um, and, and you're required 20. Yeah. Right, but it can be reduced. Yeah, you can reduce it in your motion. Yeah. Yeah, so okay, we can clarify that. Lou, are you? Did you go off the dimensions of the survey, or did we originally you went off the wall? I got it. I, from, have the, I have the survey. We can clarify that. We shouldn't need it, but if, if it's something I do, and we, we you guys, I got it. I got it from the survey. Three and a half feet. Three and a half feet. Because of just to center that house again, but there's there's plenty of space there where I shouldn't need that square footage, so we could. We can verify that, but the dimensions were the same as my survey guy. He just has that. That's a question. Yes. I didn't know about the pathway or anything. Yeah, else. yeah. As, yeah the horse used to go right over there. Well, either the wall needs to move over eight feet, and and the, the setback stays right where it is, or the setback needs to be what? Yeah, I mean the city is like or fourteen feet. Uh, there's 12, feet, so 12, 12, 12 feet. Feet. yeah, yeah. Uh, and you need a variance for that one of the two it doesn't have to get a variance if you'd waive the I mean, setbacks in your motion then hey, it doesn't have that, to go to dvo or a variance because in reality kind of creating the space that who's supposed to take care of anyways but it's in the yard it's in the yard until someone decides they don't they want to take it back the church or whoever may own it it was kind of up in the air when we was talking to the survey guy who really owned it he kept telling me you should just File this paperwork and get it, but we don't need it because we have plenty of space for what we're proposing within our within the actual square footage of my survey. We have the space to build that right there, and that that will be denied to the city unless I get clearance from you guys. But we don't necessarily need that, but we can clarify that wall that I have plans, you know, if we need to. Yeah, you don't have a copy of the survey with you. By any I do not. It's all it's all it's all been logged in the city. I got some recent email from them. That it's actually done 100 percent now, but without my glasses, it take a while to find it on my phone. <laughs> Try. Who's your surveyor? Just um, his name is George. Cool guy. He's very thorough. He wasn't cheap. I think there, there, I just I yeah. was just wondering. You don't know George? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, to go back to that setback question. Um, I guess that could be part of the motion to accept a smaller setback. Which you have to go and then plans are you would also have to accept the smaller setback, but it needs to be called out in the plans. That in other words, we can't. I, I didn't want to just pass this through mm -hmm. as if we didn't know about this, uh -huh. right? Yeah, I'm only it was yeah. told me by the surveyor and by the yeah. neighbor. Yeah, once again, and I'm only I'm building that within my property. I, I don't care about those things, I don't need them. I don't need them. Okay, do well, then, then you'd have no, to change your plan to. Well, move your house over, right? yeah. So, yeah, I mean, let me ask. Let feet. me ask a question. We can verify all that. If the board is um, okay, first of all, Kalen has said that he would attempt to clarify this, and <clears throat> by comparing the survey and the survey markings with the house layout um, and if he can do that the real question is is the board willing to allow the west uh, yard setback to be reduced to approximately 12 feet because of the offsets yeah right i mean if 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 the board is not interested in allowing the change in the setback then um that That's a whole different story. Then, then, then your clarification would be required, yeah. and it would need to show what what you think the case is. I guess that's the smartest way to look at the correct. So, are we willing to you know, change the set back to twelve feet? Don't ask me. I'm, I, just, I just, saying, I'm just trying to frame it. I want to point this out. The setback is not your benefit. Setback is for your neighbor's benefit. Uh -huh. So, not only 
it seems to me that this plan is documenting the eight foot of property that should be the neighbors from giving it to you is what the this document is to okay. and in, in when you look at it in a historic view down the line when somebody wants to build a new building over there and they need that eight feet you will have you will claim it's yours I think it would be reasonable to find an updated visual that has show us where the that got confusing the with this wall and yeah, this property yeah. line. Because there, we need a better drawing. There's plenty of space there. Yeah. Communicating Nothing's so. changed as far as like what you guys are really here to make sure that, that it fits the neighborhood from what you see from the streets and all the you know the windows, the doors, the materials. That's not changing that. Obviously, I got to be within my setbacks when I build this, but we'll have to verify that and make sure it passes through the city. Yes. It needs to change a lot, but we have. Plenty of space there, but yeah. So that will have to be clarified, which we can. I think I just. would re recommend, or see, I'm sorry, I sh shouldn't do that. I would suggest that you might want to go ahead and look at your survey. Yeah. And get your east west dimension. Mm -hmm. Then look at your house plan and you yeah. get your east west dimension and you subtract that from the overall and you see how much you've yeah. got left over. Absolutely. And you're either going to have yeah. uh, 40 feet left over or you're going to have 50. Yeah, thirty two feet. Yeah, we'll go. So you that. should be able to. Yeah, that's and, and Alan, and I appreciate your comment that the fence lines, while there is some tradition in the historic district to accepting the fence line as the property line, they are not. And if you, we have this on every piece of property in here. It's offset by that eight feet that we're talking about. Mm, not think. necessarily, but but it's different. But but it is a consistent issue, and my concern is, I think, is what you voiced is that we just want to protect that neighbor should they come back. I don't. I don't have a. I don't have a concern if you're 12 feet from the property line or 20 feet well, yeah. from the property I, I line. I can't build the house and within within it unless I get all approval. But unless you get the approval, yeah. but I, sure. I don't have a problem with yeah. that variation. Yeah. I just want it documented so that if that neighbor comes back and says, mm -hmm. "Well, mm -hmm. I want to build 12 feet from my property line or six feet, or I need to be from that property line, not from the wall." And just so that we are consistent in stating that it's the property line and not the fence line. Right. And that's that is my concern. Again, I don't care if it's 12 feet or mm -hmm. 20. Yeah, I get it. If that's our no, that's we have a relationship with that. Yeah, our neighbor no, has a relationship. This property has a relationship with that property. Yeah. We use their parking lot all the time. Yeah. We're, and we're trying to stay on really good terms with them. So yeah. <clears throat> So we have to go back with the right answer. Okay. The right answer is that we approved it and that Harris approved it, and that's the answer. Okay. We can we'll but, we'll but verify we the measurements. It. Yeah. And what I'm saying is we acknowledge it. We recognize it. It was brought up to us. Absolutely. Okay. Next. Any other concerns on this plan? Mike, go ahead. No, 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 no. I have no concerns. You have no concerns. concerns. <laughs> well, I do. I, I, there's no landscape plan, which you know, the, the, I'll just say this one more time, and I won't say it anymore. There's been no thought given to the site whatsoever. You've got the driveway, you've got the house, and you have not considered drainage I, that I can see. You have not considered drainage, you've not considered landscape, not considered circulation around the, uh, the house, and you haven't considered the uses other than maybe the swimming pool. Of how the, the property is going to be used. I think that's important, but apparently the city can see this. That's there's been yeah. there's been a lot of thought into all of it. But everything you said, there's been a lot of thought into it. Uh, what? There's been a lot of thought into it. Coming just made. I don't see it though. Where's the landscape? There's a landscape plan. It's this is a landscape uh, plan here. Zero point two. And the drainage is very it's a very simple drainage system, but it's where it gets the drainage system. We went over that last few years. No, it didn't. You've got topo lines, none of them have changed. So, and you got scuppers coming down. And I know what a site plan and landscape plan looks like when the property's done. 
we haven't done it. So. Yeah, this isn't a landscape. That's more of an identification of existing materials than it is anything else. There's no there's no planting, but I can see. Is that required? It's not, I don't know. Apparently it's not. It's not required. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's it's, I, got this, I got these beautiful ruins in the front and there's perfectly placed trees. We don't necessarily need anything else. It wasn't required. Just worry about what was required right now. But just, there is a nice landscape in there already. There's these nice ruins there. And you're going to have this nice house in there. What else do you need to see? You want to see some more trees in there or bushes? It's, it's, it's not an issue. It's not I'm talking about whether it's been thought out, thought about. Somebody's going to think it out and thought, do it later without any, any uh, way to look at it. I'm getting kind of surprised that there's some, there's, I, don't, I don't know if it would be reflected by elevation of rate that is drainage, uh, kind of drainage, a sense of what the drainage is. Yeah. But that's not yeah, I would agree that the grading plan doesn't reflect what you're going to end up with. I understand because not even if, it, if you left control. if you left it the way it is, it's going to you got to get a way to get that around the house. That's all. All the water from from the main house it drains west east. All the water Did from, you do from the roof. There's not a of water. The, the roof, the water goes from the drains completely to the west and completely to the east, so it doesn't go to drain to the ruin whatsoever. And then the, ele the natural elevation of that land slightly goes down to the to the north. So that water will all go right there. You can see the, the, the plants and stuff that are in there. They're all going to catch. And do you have to do solar now? No, we took that solar electrical panels and solar panel ready. Okay, so the grading and drainage plan. Um, what I think I would expect to see it's pretty so big. Is, is, we've got on it says here, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what was that? I mean, yeah, I'm no, no, sorry. Um, we've got contours here. What is the finished floor elevation? Then we can say, oh, it's two feet out of the ground in the back, it's two feet underground in the front, because you can see there's one, two, you know, there's it's hard to tell what those contours are just because of the, the way these drawings don't blow up. Or, yeah, do you know what the finished floor elevation of that house is? It not off the top of my head, it's good, it's, it's, it's going to be within a foot to a foot and a half to finish floor at least. And it all depends with the septic scenario and all that, but not much higher than that. It's just your, it, your basic, you know. Um, it is hard to see. Could you move that down from this so we can see the Lou, can you zoom down a little bit? It's where he shows the drainage along the side of that house. Here. Is this where he shows that? Yeah. yeah. It's indicating a swale, maybe. I mean, it's. These are indicating drainage arrows going back to the north. Yeah. Which I assume yeah. is probably that's the east. No, I mean this way. Oh, that, yeah, that, that's yeah. So okay. when in our when our very first meeting, that was you guys asked if maybe since the water drains all to the east and it drains all to the west, that you can maybe have some kind of plants or, or swells right there. That's why we put those there. Right. So you, you guys asked us to. I understand correctly. Right. In the case, this is the landscape. Correct. Area. Yeah. And that there's drain, positive drainage going to the north. Um, and that there's some landscaping here. So, yeah, in a sense. It, yeah, I mean, it's. So it's, you know, you said there was no landscaping proposed. Yeah. Well, you've got a drawing that shows yeah, that there know, is landscape. Yeah. I mean, you can rake a yard and that's landscaping, you know, I mean, What's the extent of landscaping we were talking about exactly at the time? Okay, do you mean, yeah. okay, so you're saying it's landscaping and it doesn't imply plant material? No, I mean, no, I'm okay. not saying that, no, I'm not saying it doesn't. You know, and as far as that goes, this was to help help catch the water yeah. and to help feed the I've plants. I've never seen so, the green thing they're trying to drain the site where you don't have a finished floor elevation of the building, the low point of the site, the high point. Oh, what's where this? the water's leaving the site? 
just can't drop it off the side of the building and say that's a drainage plan. So you don't have one. And so the city apparently doesn't require one. Is that true? Wyatt, can you speak to that? I'm sorry. The question is whether the city requires a landscape or a drainage plan for this project. Correct. Uh, no. <laughs> So never mind. Yes, we, we <laughs> went over this in the last two meetings, exact same thing. I yeah, appreciate your concern, but yeah. I'm not gonna build a house where it's gonna flood the yard by any means. Because it rains hard here. Anything else we have to cover? Um, I have one other topic. Sorry. <laughs> the wall, there's a mention of a perimeter wall in a future review. Man, yeah, there's so both. When you talk about perimeter wall, I, I don't know if someone asked us to put in there. If we, they no, had asked, they asked for, to put in a pony wall to hide the yeah yeah equipment. Uh, no, not equipment. You guys had mentioned or you wanted a pony wall here. You guys mentioned a pony wall here because the right there don't look, go back. Oh, did you already put it in? See, yes, I did. That pony wall. Yeah. That's here. Because to maybe not look directly at the side the of the garage. Yeah, yeah. But there's also mention of a wall, a perimeter wall. No, I think maybe oh. we're, gonna, we're gonna do a wall in the future that we need to put in there. So we should maybe maybe someday we'll do a wall, but when we are not proposing any walls. Okay, would you take it out? <laughs> no, I don't think we asked the perimeter wall. We can remove perimeter, that. Uh, we don't like that. The perimeter wall is different yeah. than the pony wall. Yeah. Um you did have a discussion about a perimeter wall because there was a discussion about a pool. Yeah. And so you guys were talking about a perimeter wall and there was no pool, correct? Where are the mechanicals located? The air conditioner, stuff like that. No, it's not obvious to me on the plans. plans. Where's the mechanical located, Lou, on that one? I can't see right now. Thumb, it, it, it is hiding on the parapet of the roof. It's hidden in the parapets in the in the which one? And this one, the tallest one. Yeah, the main unit. Because we got like some pretty And I'm, and I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's each one in each side. Right. So there's one here, there's one in this area, and there's one in this area. Sorry. So you will not be able to see it from the street. That was one of the guidelines from the yeah. design so codes of the neighborhood. Could you show those again? It's in this area, this area. So it would be like one in this area, and it will be like another in this area. They hide it with the parapet. We don't want to see them. So nothing on the ground. No, no split units. Um, <clears throat> I'm surprised you didn't put more doors out there. It's like we have been living in that area. The front one? The middle one. Which one? The, the one in the middle. The pool one. Okay. Like where you have the pool. Oh, that's one? This one. You want more doors up there? No, no, I mean, I don't, I don't have it. You probably put the doors there. No, I was, I was surprised that there was only a, a one room there mm -hmm. from each end. Yeah, yeah, you have one here. You have, so you have one from the master? You right yeah. there? You have one from this back hallway there, yeah. and then you have one from there. Yeah. And then, what's this okay. here? Uh, okay. And then if you go back to the door, the one you said you're going to be, it's going to be the front door, even though you have a front door, that one that's next to the garage. This one? Yeah, and tell me which door you're planning to use. Oh, yeah, that, that one right here. Yeah. Let me see with the picture. In this door, obviously no one will see, but this is the material that we would like to use. For everyone to that. Just start. Solid though. Yeah, solid Naviana. Whatever would be mm -hmm. make these days a fake Naviana. For the record, that's the rusty, rustic naughty alder arch top. Really an arch top. Yeah. So it's uh, basically uh, like this door. I'm not doing any arch top. We can't really see it, Lou, but we got a picture of it on paper over here. Right. So let's review what we have, what, what recommendations are going to be. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to hear it. Mm -hmm. No.
I keep that. Thank you. What? Did you ask? <laughs> so I have to keep it now. I have some points, some bullet points that we talked about. Um, we are you going to turn this into a motion? I don't know. I I want to make sure we've got all the bullet points that we need. Because um, David's going to make the motion. You're ready to make a motion. I'm memorizing it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can make the motion. I just want to make sure we've got all the bullet points that show okay. that. Um, there was a, a recommendation to look at the variations or a, a suggestion. And we're not making recommendations, I guess. A suggestion to look at variations in the windows. Well, we can make recommendations. Okay, that sure. show on the south side so that there were, and there was a recommendation for the, it was the um, proportion that was of concern on that. Um, there was a significant concern regarding how we approve the setback and where the line of the survey is on the west side. There's a concern about the landscape drainage and grading that, that we're not feeling like there's enough information um, about that as this house will have significant drainage east and west and then the landscape and the circulation. And I, I guess I do have one more question about the placement of the new driveway and does the new driveway have to go through because that has never been a driveway and it's close to the that speed hump that we have there. Is there anything, any concern with from the city about where that driveway is placed? Hmm. And, and I don't know. I don't think so. Why did, was there any concern about the placement of the proposed driveway? Uh, no, because I reached out to John Van Winkle, who didn't express any concern about that. John Van proximity. Winkle. Yeah, with he's he's an engineer. Well, he was an engineer with DTM. Now I believe he's with Tucson Water. But during his time with DTM, he he let me and Jody know that there is no proximity issue or locational issue with the proposed driveway. Okay, and there was a driveway here as well. It was yeah. Okay, um, and I also asked the same question about. The two driveways being adjacent, the, the house next door, they're side by side. And you told me that they had to be 10 feet apart, or why it told you <laughs> they either had to be 10 feet apart, or they had, or the opening had to be 30 feet wide. <clears throat> so I think they're planned to be 10 feet apart, right? The two driveways between 5301 and 5252. Oh, you're talking about the, 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 the school, school over there? The he multiple times had asked me if he could share that driveway, but I never, I never answered him. Yeah. So, but I, that's just why I asked Joey because yeah, I and I've been, that. I've been talking to um, she's talked to you quite a few times. She's actually just at the house the other day. Um, Sharon. She, Sharon. Yeah. yeah. I so I can ask her where they're proposing to put the driveway, but I don't know. Where to put the as far as far as I understand, they're at least ten feet apart. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, so. Was there anything else we, we're certain about the scuffle material, the doors, nothing else about the doors? I like the idea of the windows changing the size, so we'll have the architect change the size of those four windows in the front, the study and the dining. I'm going to do my 32 by five feet, so it'll be a little. And so you'll have those yeah, two that change the then the other two so will, that are right there. Yeah. I like that idea, so we'll, we'll change that. Yeah, but that plans. Chris, did you have any other things to add to this? I just wanted to make sure that the mechanicals were noted on the plans when we're like, where they were. I mean, mm -hmm. obscuring them is important. I just want the detail to be in the plan. Yeah. So I look at the plan as like a contract between the board here and what you're doing, uh -huh. right? So I just right. want to make sure that's not- It'll make it clear where the exact location of the units are. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I would like to add one other thing, and that is that 
and we've said this from the first time. Please consult an expert about the room. I've consulted quite a few experts about it, but we're not touching their rooms. I know that that's a problem too. Just to just do nothing. But, but I'm because, not required to maintain these rooms whatsoever, and I'm not getting I'm not getting going down that road. No, I'm not asking you to. Be we're protecting with a chain link fence during construction, so right. we don't cause any further damage down. I propose okay. stuff that I've done in the past because I, I worked on Adobe quite a few times. So you won't. You won't um, I, okay. The thing is, I, there's a lot of things that I like to do to protect them, which I've done in some properties that I don't have an actual Adobe on them. But I've been told during this process, no, no, that's not going to work. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. So the bottom line is, I'm not required to maintain these things. One thing, and I talked to the Adobe expert, and they're they're called they're called Adobe expert. That's the name of the company here in town. Yeah. And and multiple other people. And I, I have many workers that have been around this stuff their whole life. Their dad made the blocks, their grandfather made the blocks. So they're very familiar with it. Basically, this needs to be covered with plaster. That's how you protect it. It's a dirt, it's a chunk of dirt. It needs to be covered with plaster, but that's not what we do to these. If you want them to stay as a run. So there's certain sailors out there you can use, but I'm not gonna go down that road. I'm not gonna talk about that, I'm not touching the roads. We're going to make them look nice and neat, leave them the way they are, clean them stuff around, the ruins are what they are. They'll be gone in three years. Well, if you guys have any suggestions, because my suggestions well, suggest were denied. I, I, Where was, my suggestion was, it's a concrete cellar that I've used on multiple stuff that I've used in the past, and I love it. But I'm not, I'm not going to mess it, because there's other stuff that needs to get done in this property. We need to move forward with construction. I want those ruins there more than anybody, just as much as you guys, trust me. I love them. They're there for, for many reasons. It, it's a whole value of their property. They're neat. And there's no reason I would want those things gone. Well, I don't know what to say about that. But so there are experts. One of them is David Yudetta. He's been with the Park Service for I left three messages from the park service. I left three messages with him, but I will try it again yeah. and see if he There's has another guy, a recommendation. Chris, Chris, somebody who's with Jim Cochran. And we're not talking about major things. We're not talking about Ramadas. We're talking about just to some, get some consultant in to tell you, first of all, if you move, remove the trees, cut the trees down, then the roots rot. And then that's, that's why we're not touching the trees. That's the other um, But there's another way to do it, and that is to really careful to assess them and get somebody to give you some expert advice. Not, and I'm not talking about these guys that put sailors on the boat. No. I'm talking about somebody who works for National Park Service or, or has in the past. I'll get Chris's name. I'll give it to the city. Pass it on to you. Anybody else got an opinion or am I just being out along here? Well, I, I would like in our recommendation that you consider Consulting with an expert, and I yeah, definitely and would consider. That's, and that's our absolutely. recommendation. That's it's not it's not going to hold up anything. But right. that's our recommendation. Absolutely, and I appreciate that's, to, to that's have the contact because I love to get as much information I can. To keep in mind here, we're doing a national member register nomination for this district. A new one. Yeah, that ruin will give you. It'll make that a contributing property. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. It's been there for hundred years, and it'll be there for hundred years. Something from it, you know. It ain't going nowhere. Forty five percent of the Not with the Marines. Not with the Marines. Anybody else? Something. Did you have anything else, Jerry, that we missed? No, David. No. No. Alan, anything I missed for my bullet points? So, so it's mainly clarifying then whether you were going to allow the twelve twenty. Uh, if it turns out to be the case, yeah. that that's what. Well, well, that's why I say we just need to make sure it's in our record. Michael, anything else? No. Yeah, I've talked to landscaping, but nobody's going to support you. <laughs> okay. Sure, that's um, why they had me do all you No, know, it's shut. Sorry. <laughs> no, go there. It's really important. Okay, so let's, uh, let's somebody make a bunch of Jody. Clear me up here because last time um, we made a motion, went to second, and I tried to modify it, and it was the wrong thing to do. So if I want to add to the motion before it's voted on, you have to get a second. You have to so you you make your motion, get a second. If you want to modify it, then you say I want to modify it, or somebody else wants to modify it. 
then the motion maker and the seconder have to agree to the modification. And it gets, and then you vote. Okay. It's super fun. Do you have to do <laughs> Can you do it, Chris? That's a really good question. <laughs> what year? I was going to ask. Okay, sure. Um, so, okay. Are we moving to accept the plans <laughs> with the specific modifications, right? Or with the specific notes? Is that the, that's the content of the motion, correct? Okay. You're All right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wanna, yeah. So, well, yeah. So I wanted to. Yeah. Okay. So we move to accept the plans um, with the modifications, uh, specifically surrounding the variation in the windows um, shown on the south side. So okay. narrowing the portion, um, verifying or modifying uh, the setbacks from the wall. So the origin of the setback is the true property line, not necessary, not the adobe wall. Um, mm -hmm. that the landscape plan is updated uh, with drainage grading, um, more specifics regarding the landscape, as well as traffic and um, visitor circulation. Uh, we show mechanicals on the plan, so the location of the air conditioning units, um, as well as consider consulting the experts surrounding the stabilization of the ruins. Who else would like to add? Nicely done. I would like to second that motion. Thank you. I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to add that oh, yeah. um, they remove the perimeter wall if there's not going to be a pool. Remove the, the no indication that there's a perimeter wall. The time. I think you're. Wait, remove what? There's a note that says that there's a plan for a future perimeter wall. Do you know where that's at? Oh, okay. Remove that note. Okay. Yeah. So does the second or concur? Yeah. So removing the second note on sheet A03, noting on the east side of the property perimeter wall or fence wall, eventually will be proposed. It will be submitted as a minor review. Okay. So that is the And does the secondary agree? The suggestion is just to remove that. And remove not the note move. off the plan. Okay. Yeah. And I, I just have to ask does that then mean that if it comes, if they decide to add a perimeter wall, that there is a review? That, okay, then I'm good with that. Then I agree. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's uh, it. No, we have to vote. Second, uh, we have a second. Let's vote. So, David? Aye. Mike? Aye. Mary Lou? Aye. Chris? I'm in favor. Carol? Aye. And Elaine? Aye. Give a little battery. Oh, okay. Let me make it. <laughs> uh, we did not hear from Carol, right? Yes, she, she did. She said, yeah. Okay. Did I? Probably seen some long. Is this something that we need to come back to the meeting for? But these these things were corrected? I think that the original necessary. plans, the same plans go to PRF. So yeah. And so then with these so we just make these comments. Okay, then we can. The notes will go to PRS, so they'll yeah. have all the notes. So reflect the what we should make. And, and this will be what they see, but because they see the same stuff, and okay. then you these notes will they'll hear the notes, so okay. they'll motion at so PRS. I'm a step further. You're a step further, okay. and I'll work on docketing. You made my you. We're moving forward, don't worry about it. I like it. And I, and I do like the idea of suggestions. So, all right, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Close. <laughs> heard that this is the first new house in this neighborhood in a long time. Really. So just get a long down. time. <laughs> yeah. My buddy had the house, he has the house right here. He said it took him almost a year and a half just to put a driveway in. The house is pretty the giant Kyle. one? Huh? The, the giant. big one? Is it pretty the horses? Big? Yeah. It's not in the historic district. Oh, okay. So I so I'll think it's a neighborhood association. They just built it. <laughs> So as far as the historic, there hasn't really been new house built in quite a while, huh? No, there's another one coming up on this. Uh, what's it called? City, City of the Mesquite. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not very. It's historic area is not too big. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. 
it's not one kind of one. Small. The story is like one kind of one. Is this is this actually just the air? No, it's just it's designated by the way. That's your development zone. Oh okay. well, that's not correct, but that's the development zone. It's gonna be quiet. Yeah, it's, your development zone is the area. It's not so much maybe with Fort Lowell, but like definitely with West University and Armory Park and stuff like that. It's typically the in between two streets and then houses on either side because the way that the districts were designed, they kind of even block by block kind of have different designs. So they want you to fit within your development zone for any new construction. So there's other items on the agenda. Yeah, but there are guys that are free. Okay, thanks for your time. <laughs> 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 Have a good one, thank you. Thank you. Nice right, to meet you. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, please do. Um, so Briggs is about to lose her, her battery. Her mind. Very exciting. She has a charger. Thank you for using your phone. Whatever we can do to make it work. It's kind of funny, and then mm -hmm. the uh, the noise went away. The echo went away. You know what? I I'll show you how to do it. it. Yeah, because it was it was feeding off of its us it being in the room. No, it was actually Zoom. You have to turn it on Zoom. <clears throat> off of Zoom. Zoom. I'll show you what I did. Once I figure it out. Okay, so what I want to talk about next? What's the the agenda? Is um, a discussion about the historic inventory. <laughs> and I, I'll keep it short because I don't know who of you guys wish to. Oh, oh she'll be back. Oh, uh, oh, hello. Are you guys still here? Uh, hello. I'm still here if you're asking me. Great, we're just getting you plugged in. <laughs> okay, no worries. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because it's hard to really just implement what you want. Um, I wanted you guys to know that we have started the meeting uh, and the two Sunday Square Preservation Foundation. Has started a new nomination for Fort Lowell, um, the old Fort Lowell Historic District. And we're talking about expanding it. <clears throat> this doesn't tell you anything from that instance, but expanding it. Right now, the National Register nomination is only about the fort. So there are specific addresses on the fort, of the fort that are designated on the National Register. What we want to do is expand it to include the whole preservation zone. And also to move it to Glen, right behind Beverly or San Francisco. That area in there is now old enough by an age, but we don't know if they're contributing or not. So um, we started a process. And what I'd like to do is meet with each of you individually to see if we can help you. Because it's 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 not a ton of work, but it's a chunk of work. Um, it means going back to all the all the things that already have listed in the inventory. The inventory is from 1978, 1980, and updated in 1995. So, and I just gave copies of all that old stuff to Jody. But we can use that old stuff to reestablish the contributing properties to our new National Register District. So what we're doing, I really like to learn how to sound, is to talk about architecture, to set down. And I can send these electronically if you just want to have a look right now. Um, so we, we developed essentially a field guide, and this is Daniel and I developed this field guide for the, the architectural types and all the pieces and parts that make and make them up. Like, what's the roof style? What's the wall style? Is it adobe? What's it made of? And then what we have to do is go to each of these properties and fill out questions about all those things. What's the building style? What's the roof style? And Mary Lou already got a dose of this. I don't know if you have any time to 
and you look at it, you do it. It's it really, I think it really warrants two people going out and having an opportunity to discuss and agree. I also recommend it as a two person job, one person with the computer. I mean, that yeah, yeah, I did it at Indian Ridge with yeah. Amy and, and just one person kind of focusing on getting the data in, and the other person focusing on, and I mean, you can yeah. discuss it together, but one person's job is really get the data. Yeah. In. Unless I said that to Amy, I said, we can do it with paper or you can do it in the, I don't care. I mean, but paper is the easiest way to do this to walk around with the dog and say, yeah, that's a, well, those front windows are these kind of windows, they're casement windows, right? <clears throat> but I'd, I'd like, especially you guys, to help me out with the architecture and go just look at this field guide from Maryland. And we can meet separately, okay. or if you have time to work on it, I'd like, we're trying to get it done this summer. So we can get it submitted. We have 94 structures to look at, including all the park. And we have uh, 60 that are already contributing to the zone. <clears throat> so we already have an addition. Is 60 part of the 90? Yes. Yeah. I mean, there's total of it at 94. And 60 of those are already documented in some way. They haven't been updated since 75. You probably want to go back and update those so. Yeah, we will we'll start all new forms. So I said this out once before, but it was a previous version of it. And, <clears throat> but um, I think it's a real, it would be a real benefit. We started writing the nomination itself. And, the, and we were talking about three or four contexts here in this neighborhood. It's not like any of rich, right? Where it's all one context, right? It's all architecture. Because the history goes back to it all. So we have to decide how much of the whole coming, how much of the military you bring, how much of the Pertanios. And then after the Pertanios, which is where the first nomination went through, um, where actually the zone, the first, the first national register would be in the rest of the Pertanios. And then you've got the Anglo ranchers who came around. And you know, it's just it's really interesting. So if, if you're interested, raise your hand, I'll call you and meet with you and <laughs> everybody's interested. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I'll um yeah. <laughs> don't need this <laughs> Um, is there any update from the city? Well, we got a new website. <laughs> That's <laughs> um, we also have a new director. I think we kind of told you this. We have a new director, um, Christina Swallow. For the planning and development services, she started May 30th. Um, so she's only been here for less than a month. Um, she came from Nevada. She's actually an engineer. Um, so she's getting her feet wet, um, learning all kinds of fun planning stuff and historic stuff. Um, for the commission split, we are still in a holding pattern. Um, hopefully, we'll have some kind of memo going somewhere sometime soon. So who's the building? Um, the building okay. official is Clayton Trevion and um, actually Juan Garcia. Those are their both building officials. Have you heard anything? Oh, Clayton Trevion, and I may butcher his last name. Have you heard anything from the county about the park, about the knobs and property in the commissary? Um, I know that they, I heard through the room, they were actually out there doing some assessments. Um, no, the county was out there. Last week. No, it was probably two or okay. three weeks ago that they were out there. Um, and then Jasmine Chan just moved over from planning back to parks. Right? Um, so I know she's back working. Oh, she that. did go back? 
to part yeah. really? But she's about to have a baby. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those are my only ones. Anything else? Questions? And somebody wanted to. Oh, did you want to, Tanya, are you able to move forward with me? Very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. And you, and have you put in an application with the city clerk? So, okay. Yeah, I believe I've done all of the administrative steps up to the board approving me. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But as far as I know. So we would like to make sure that her nomination is on the agenda for the next meeting. Okay. Why did you hear that? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, he's there, he's there. <laughs> I'm so alive, I promise. Yeah. It's only nine o'clock and we went through half an hour of technical difficulties. <laughs> and thank you for your patience. <laughs> but do you want to adjourn the meeting before you yes. I move to adjourn? <laughs> we did yell at you. Stop recording. And um, off the record. I would like I would like to